Hi guys, I have another online order from Matalan. My name is Fawn, this is my channel and it's a happy place. And if you like having a laugh and trying things on and shopping and all things over 50, then um, please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave me a comment. So, I went online to Matalan. Now it was just before the lockdown finished, but there were a few things that I sort of wanted to get for people's stockings and things like that. And of course, while I was on there buying for other people, I bought for myself too. So let's get started. First was this very pretty skirt. It was £14. It is so soft, you guys. Really, really soft. It's lined, which I think is nice. Now, I know it's mini. It's not going to be long. But with thick, thick black tights, I think it could be stunning. The only detailing is that it does have, and it's hard to tell because of the pattern that's on here, but it has like a seam that runs down here and it makes the hem slightly off in the middle of the skirt. I thought it looked lovely, really Christmassy, really warm, really cozy and really fun. Now, as you know, I tried a furry jacket from Studio, or furry gilet sleeveless but I also ordered one from Matalan this one is a lot softer it's not so curly whirly it does have pockets I don't think you can fasten this one at all because I really <laughs> I really want to like them on me so I thought you know one more this is slightly different less mm, hearth rug looking more teddy bear looking I'll give it a go and just see and it was 20 pounds I ordered a dress. Can you see the beautiful sort of tealy green pattern on it? I mean, I think it's meant to be an animal print. I'm not convinced. Long sleeves with a little button cuff. Button down the front to the waist. I wonder if they even open. Yes, they are working. <laughs> they are working buttons. But it's long and tiered. And again, I thought it would look great with my colouring as a winter dress. And this one was £18. Another dress. This one I'm less sure about. It does have a much higher neck, but it's got that sort of peephole thing going on. So I'm hoping I can undo it and it'll look good. Um, it's got long sleeves with elasticated wrists. Can you see the colours and patterns in it? As you can see, it's very see-through. So it does come with a uh, underdress. It's long, again, tiered. I thought the colours were nice. The pattern was good. It was worth a try. And this was £20. Last but not least was a black winter coat. I can't believe I'm even saying this, that I'm looking at black winter coats. But the difference in the weight loss, or maybe the age difference, I don't know. I am beginning to slightly feel the cold. So I thought, well, everybody needs a coat of some description. And I know I've got that really nice camel one, but obviously I needed a dark one. So this is just plain black. It's got silver buttons on it. I quite like this sort of modern detail that it's got zip pockets. I would imagine it's knee length. I hope it's knee length. This was £30. And I thought it was really nice and certainly, certainly worth a go. As I say, I did order a whole load of other things as well, but they weren't for me. They were Christmas presents for people. So um, it's quite a small little, little haul this time. But I'll style it up and you can tell me what you think. Starting off with the skirt. I think it's really cute. And this is how I would wear it. With a loose, because it's short, because it's quite square, I would wear it with a loose top. But as you can see, it's very, very simple, but very, very comfortable, very soft. As I say, it is lined, so it doesn't cling to your tight. You know the way you get some skirts, they're not lined, and as you walk along, they sort of walk up your tights, which is a real issue if you're wearing a shortish skirt. I mean, this isn't massively short, but it's short enough for me, really. Um, I think it's great. And I, well, it does, it feels so nice, guys. I think it really gives a job. I mean, this is it with a blouse, but obviously I could wear it with black jumper or whatever. But I think it's really quite nice. I'm looking at the camera, but you know, <laughs> it's such a little box. <laughs> but I think it's nice. And 
as I say, this is the way I would wear it, this is the way that I would charge around and get on with life. So I've put the furry jacket on. It's not right, I don't think, again. And I think this sort of puts it to bed for me, this sort of, yeah, every time I saw it on someone or saw one of these on someone, I wanted one. This is too tight over my boobs anyway, so if I was to, to want this and like it, I'd have to go up a size. And I think this is an 18 in the first place. I'll turn around. I mean, they feel so, so lovely. And I mean, it is just easy, breezy, throw it on. But it's not right on me. I think, personally, that because my weight is all here, this is the last place that I should add bulk. And I think that's what this does, for all it being lovely, and ladies, it really is. If you're in the market for one of these, you're looking for one, this one is gorgeous. It is so soft. It's lined on the inside. The pockets are nice, they're at a nice height. I know you can't do it up, there are no buttons, but, I mean, you see, it's almost there on me. It's, on, it's fine down here, but the bosoms are no good. But it really is so nice, and I envy you little ladies that can wear this kind of thing. <laughs> but I don't happen to be one of them. So I don't think you'll be seeing any more furry gilets from me anytime soon. That's two, and as much as I really like this one, yeah, they're not for me. As you know, I always say, I run hot, I run hot. And that's why I generally buy sleeveless jackets. But I have the cream one, or the camel colored one that I got from TK Maxx. And I'm discovering that dark colors are really me. So I saw this and I thought it looked quite modern for a black wool coat. I like these buttons, big bright shiny buttons. It's double breasted. I can do it up, of course, but I don't want to. This is perfect, the way that this is skimming down me. I don't know that it's showing that well because I have a black top on. So when I put one of the dresses on, I'll probably slip it on again so you get two views of it. I love these zip pockets. I think that makes it look quite modern. The sleeves are a bit tighter than I'd like them to be. They're not tight, but you couldn't wear, I couldn't wear a great big jumper. But the whole point is, I do run hot. So this will be thrown on mostly over sort of t-shirty light cotton tops. And it'll sort of smarten me up a bit, I think. So let me give you the turn. And then I'll come in, but as I say, I am wearing black, so it might, might not come up that well. Okay, so do you see the buttons? Aren't they cute? I like the way they sit like that. As I say, it is done up with a button in here and a button here. So I could if I wanted to, but I really wouldn't. I need to be able to do that occasionally when I'm out and about and get a bit of cool air into the bod. Um, I think it's really smart. And for 30 pounds, I think it looks an awful lot more than 30 pounds. But you're gonna have to tell me, am I seeing things? Here I go again with the booby issue. It's the placement of the buttons on this. There is tons of fabric here, tons. But where they've placed that button, it's causing a little bit of a gape. Now what I could do is put a couple of stitches just to hold it so it stops doing that. Um, I think it's a really pretty dress, but I'm also not quite sure about the height of the sort of where the skirt starts. Do, do you follow me? I hope I am I'm making that clear. It seems terribly high-waisted, which, you know, not my boat really. I've, I've already, I've only had it on a few minutes and I'm already tugging at it. I love the colour. I love the floatiness of the fabric. I think the colour is good on me, not quite as good as I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I feel almost like it's a maternity dress in that it comes over my bosoms and then the fabric just starts to flare out from up so desperately high. I think I have dresses that suit me better. I think if I had less bosom so that that could sit down lower, it would be a fabulous dress because it really is so so pretty and floaty and you know i think with the boots the winter look i think it's great just maybe not great for me i'm going to come in because i want you to be able to see the fabric can you see how pretty that is here's a fabric oh, you see there you can see it straight away it just gapes it's not pulling as much as you'd think it is 
but it is gaping. So it's not going to work for me, but for someone else, this is gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. Now I'm going to pop my coat on so we get a look of it with the dress. Okay, I hope it's showing better with the dress. The length, I think, is great. You've got, obviously, you've got skirt hanging out because we're longer skirts, but I think it's a nice, nice length. And I actually think that this would work really well with a pair of jeans too. So I think this coat, unless you guys see something that I can't and tell me no fawn, stay away from it, I think this coat is going to stay. What a faff putting on dresses that are two layers before they're yours because obviously they've attached them. So I was leaping around with one arm here and one arm there. Anyway, I'm in it now. And obviously if I keep it, I'll separate them so I can put it on as two pieces. I really like it, guys. I think this is really, really nice. It's the same sort of length as the other one. It's very sort of gauzy and swishy again. I like the fact that the oops, wrists are elasticated. So I can make a permanent thing of pulling the sleeves up. I actually like the V. I will come in in a second to get a little bit closer, but it's also elasticated, this neck. I don't know if you can see. The collar here is elasticated, so it'll be really comfortable. Um, I like the colours. This one is still slightly high-waisted. My waist is here, so it's still slightly high-waisted, but it's not so high-waisted. I don't feel as maternity-like, which is gutting because I love the colour of the other one. But I like the colours on this too. I'll give it a circle. I think it's quite flattering on my back. It doesn't have a belt with it, which is peculiar. And I do have my belt here, so I'm going to pop that on in a minute and see. We can, we can have an opinion as to whether a belt makes it look better. But let me just come in. So I like this sort of dipsy pattern. I like the V that it gives me. I think that's really nice. I'm not bothered by the tassels. They don't bother me at all. I like the gauziness of the sleeves. Now, I really want you to sort of try and pick up the pattern. I don't know if it... Oh, yes, that's, there it goes. Isn't that pretty? All those colours in it, the green, the red, but without being a mass of one big bold colour. We get the belt and I'll put it on. Um, you can give me some feedback. Well, I think I like it even more with the belt, but actually without is fine too. Um, I think the belt gives me just a tiny bit of definition. There isn't a lot of definition to be had. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Roll on the second, no, not the second, the third week of January. I was giving myself two weeks off to Christmas, two weeks into January. So about the 14th, Whichever Monday is the closest to the 14th, I am on a diet big style because this girl is really plumping and chunking back up. So, um, but I do think that the belt works. Um, I'll move away from you a bit. So you can get this sort of more overall. Do you think it makes it look more in proportion? I don't know. I really like this dress and I'm hoping when I watch this back and I get your comments that you really like this dress too because I was disappointed with the green. I so thought that that was going to be the one and this was a maybe. And as usual, it turns out this is the one and that's a maybe. So yeah, I feel pretty in this. This is easy breezy. This is shopping. This is comfort. This was, I think, £18. Let me check the label. No, 20 pounds. Two layers. I think it's lovely. And I hope you think it's lovely too. So there we go. That was me. That was my Matalan haul. I'm not going to sit back down and go through it. It's not the biggest haul in the history of the world. It was actually two massive parcels. But I got a lot of woolies for the kids. Um, I got a sort of a... Um, what do you call it? A shacket sort of thing for my mother. So, yeah, there was a lot in there. And there was only the one, two, three, four, five things for me. That's not bad. I'm restraining myself, guys. <laughs> but then I wasn't supposed to be ordering anything for me at all. So maybe I'm not restraining myself at all. <laughs> anyway, that's me. That's my Matalan haul. Bye, guys. <laughs>